Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Nipu here, and today we will be installing an NVMe drive to the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. The drive is the SK Hynix Gold P31. According to the website, the drive supports read speeds of the 3500 megabytes per second and write speeds of the 3200 megabytes per second. It also has a five year warranty, which is great. Going forward, please take proper precautions and try to respect electricity. There are too many things that can go wrong, which can be prevented by putting safety first. You can start by working on an anti-static mat, wearing a bracelet, or wearing anti-static gloves. With that out of the way, make sure your machine is shut down and unplugged from the power source. Next, turn the machine over. Remove these 10 screws. With the screws removed, take a pry tool or credit card to further loosen the bottom panel. Lay the machine down and completely remove the bottom panel. Please disconnect the battery connector from the board. It's best not to skip this step. Moving to the left, we need to remove these three screws. Lift the cover straight up as any twisting could snap the plastic post at the top left. Here's the drive again just in case you missed it the first time around. This mounting screw needs to be removed before we proceed with the install. Grab your M key drive and line it up with the M key slot. Hold it about a 10 to 15 degree angle and insert. Push until you can't see the golden contacts. At this point, push directly down and replace the mounting screw. Grab the drive shield and put it back in place. Note that the plastic post will stick through this hole. Replace the screws. Reconnect the battery. Replace the bottom panel. Replace the screws. When finished, pick the machine up and look over the sides to make sure there are no gaps. If found, gently squeeze to fully close them and retighten the screws. Power up the machine and log into the BIOS. The drive will be listed as SSD2. If you don't see it, disassemble and make sure that the drive is seated correctly. If it still does not work, then it could be defective. Connect all necessary cables and boot into Windows. Next, go to Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. You can type this in the Windows Search by hitting the Windows key. You will be on the Initialize Disk screen and you should select GPT, then hit OK. Your drive will be listed as Unallocated. Right-click the drive and select New Simple Drive. Click Next and leave the volume size as default unless you are splitting the drive into more than one partition. Select the drive letter and hit next. Choose NTFS for the file system and not XFAT. Go ahead and give your drive a name and click next. You will be presented with an overview of your settings and if everything looks good, click finish. Your drive is now ready to be used. You can go to the SK Hynix website and download a drive manager, but don't expect anything close to the Samsung Magician. The software provides you with some info such as drive capacity, the life of the drive, and the health status. Smart status has info on drive cycles, errors, 
temp sensors, and more. There's also drive and OS settings that you can adjust as well as details of the controller and some other useful information. There is a firmware update feature, but I could not get it to work. There was also no way to format the drive or run a diagnostic, which is strange. Lastly, there is a manual you can use that has some useful information if you need it. Using Crystal Dismark, here are some benchmarks with the drive being empty, 52, 73, and 94% full. According to the results, I'd say the drive lives up to the claims. This is five simultaneous transfers, each being 96.9 gigabytes, which consists of Steam game files. Lastly, I have the Gold P31 on the left and the stock factory drive on the right. The top is 13% full and the bottom is 88% full. With that said, if you found the tutorial useful, feel free to subscribe and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.